Hello again, my name is Melanie Mitchell. I am a rising second year information technology student from Atlanta, Georgia by way of Miami, Florida. Um, this video is just about meal plans, fam, you just eating, period. So I hope you enjoy. Um, I know a lot of people had a question about what meal plan to get. It honestly depends on the kind of person you are. But the one I would suggest is the 12 meals per week. And it comes with 250 flex bucks. My experience was my first semester I had the 15 meals and I had 150 flex bucks. I didn't eat in the cab 15 times a week and I was out of flex bucks really quickly. I ended up having to use my own money in the orange room and food court and all that. So I suggest you get the 12 meals because that's a little bit more practical and the 250 flex bucks so you can go to the orange room or food court or Rattler's Nest or whatever. And I got the nine meals second semester, which is what I suggest second semester, because by that time you'll be over the calf, over the calf food. You don't want it all the time, so you eat there less than nine. I had the nine meal plan, and I barely ate there five times a week. So you should get the nine meal plan for second semester and have the 350 flex bucks, because the flex bucks come in handy, but just don't spend them all too quickly, like I said before, because before you know it, you'll have 10 flex bucks left and you'll wonder where they go. So make sure you spend those wisely and get the best meal plan for you. Campus location of where you are on campus will have a lot to do with how many times you eat in the cab or if you eat in the orange room. If you live in the boys dorms or if you live in Pattyfield, you're probably gonna eat in the cafeteria more because you're right there by it. And in comparison to someone who lives in McGuinn or Diamond or Truth Wheatley Cropper because it's so far. And if you live in Phase, you're barely gonna wanna make that walk to campus anyway. But it, it depends on where you are. So if you live in McGuinn, you're not gonna walk, wanna walk to the cab all the time and the orange room is right across the street. So you're gonna want to go to the orange room more than you wanna go to the cab. So that's another trap to spend all your flex bucks. So just be wise of when you're walking. So if you're walking in the direction of the cab, eat the cab. But if you don't feel like walking all the way over there, it's fine to eat in the orange room, but don't make it a habit because you're gonna be out of flex bucks pretty quickly. I'm sure many of you have heard about this by now, but if you haven't, I'm gonna let you know. Wednesday is fried chicken Wednesday in the cab. Every Wednesday at lunchtime in the cab, they serve fried chicken and collard greens and macaroni and cheese, and it's a zoo in the cab. Everybody's in there. Just trying to get them a plate. It's going to be a very, very long line. Lunch starts at 11 a.m. So if you have a class, if you're not in class at 11 a.m. and you want to eat at the calf for lunch on a Wednesday, you might want to be at the calf on time because the line will get crazy. The line is the worst at about 12-ish. So time yourself accordingly. You probably won't find a good seat. So make sure you plan with your friends. Find a seat so we can get a good spot and sit down and eat. At FAMU, it's this company called Sodexo who runs the dining from the restaurants to the food to the workers. So the calf workers are some people that you're going to have to get used to on campus. The best thing you can do is to get to know them and be nice to them. And who knows, they might hook you up sometimes. So don't be alarmed by them because they might come up a little abrasive and, you know, brusque. But, you know, just be nice to them. They're, some of them are really cool. You get to know them. Just, you know. The orange room workers are the coolest ones. But you know, just be cool with them. And yeah, just be cool. Since you guys are gonna be like underclassmen and freshmen, you know, you know campus, whatever. Um, upperclassmen might try to use you guys for your swipes to get in the cab because they don't have a meal plan. I'm not saying don't swipe them in because you know, you should swipe your friends in. But just be mindful that if you swipe somebody in, it's going to take away from your flex flex. All I'm saying. Please be mindful that you won't be eating every single meal in the cafeteria or on campus. So just have food in your room because ramen noodles, the struggle is real. Like you will need to eat some ramen noodles some nights. Just be like that sometimes. Well, you can go to grocery shop and find someone to take you to Walmart, get you some nice microwavable meals, some snacks, like, because you're going to get hungry in the middle of the night when everything is closed. So just make sure you have food in your room that you can fall back on or find somebody to take you to get something to eat because it's, you're going to get hungry and it's going to be real, it's going to be real sad if you're hungry and just you have to go to sleep sometimes. 
it's happening to everyone. So just, you know, make sure you have your food situation together and don't depend strictly on your meal plan to feed you at every meal. And you're not going to have money all the time. So be creative. You know, ask your friend, ask your roommate, make friends in your hall. Just like, hey, can I borrow some ramen noodles or something? Make it work.